Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. My name is Bob Lennon, President of Thermalwood Canada, host for the show, and our special guest for a return appearance, Chico. How's it going? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So, listen, today we're actually in the mall. This is where your store is, where you're sending all your merch for the uh, for hospitality days. But uh, the last time we talked about a lot of activities that you had on the schedule. But today we want to spin that around and talk about some of the activities that you're doing that you're actually helping out other organizations. So uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, we have a lot of things, a lot of activities, and uh, we were donated this beautiful guitar right here uh, by one of our sponsors, and we decided to uh, sponsor Systema. And so we're going to sell tickets on it, and Glass Tiger has agreed to sign it. Oh, and that's pretty impressive. On stage that day. So the draw's on the 22nd at one of our, our, our final day of shows, and uh, we're excited about it. So we have tickets spread out different places in Bathurst. Um, and with that, uh, we're hoping our goal is to raise $10,000 for Systema. So I'll talk a little bit about Systema because yeah. that I'm chairing the fundraising. So uh, thank you, by the way. Really appreciate this. So Systema is all about focusing on kids that wouldn't have the means to be able to be part of an orchestra. And it's a program that they go in and, and get the kids out of the uh, first and second years at the schools. It's going to be set up in, in the uh, Beresford uh, School. That's where the office is going to be. Uh, these kids commit to being uh, part of this program for three hours a day, five days a week wow. for the period of time. And then it's it's like uh, hockey in a way because you start off with, you know, the, the novice that don't really know how to skate. Well, these kids don't know how to play any instruments. And the instruments will be the stringed instruments like violins and violas and, and, and bass, uh, uh, bass violins. Those are the type of uh, things. And so they're part of an orchestra. So there's a lot of fundamental uh, uh, life learnings that they get from that, of being part of a crew, part of a team, uh, leadership skills, all those things fit in there. And uh, this is completely free for these kids. And so the fundraising that we're doing is to pay for all the instruments and pay for the teachers that we have going in. Uh, it's a program that's set up all through New Brunswick. And there's uh, nine different locations through the satellite groups through the, to, uh, through the province. And as the kids work their way through and get better and better, then they become part of the regional orchestra. And then they become the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra. And in the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra, and you've seen them on uh, video, they made it to Carnegie Hall this year and they got a standing ovation. Can you imagine? That was awesome. Yeah. I watched it. I, I watched the part of it where the standing ovation was. They just finished and it was like, yeah. Wow. It was. Oh. Just yeah. incredible, right? Yeah, incredible. So the fact that uh, that somebody in our region has donated a guitar to you guys and that your committee has decided to uh, uh, use it as a fundraiser but turn around and, and, and give the money to Sistema, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. But this is a, not only Sistema are you giving uh, stuff away to. You're doing things for other organizations in the, uh, in the city and in the region too. Many, many, many different organizations. We're starting... We need bartenders at the at their at other events, so we've approached Bathurst Minor Hockey to be the bartenders, and all their tip money will go to Bathurst Minor Hockey, and we'll have tip jars, and we'll have you know. Uh, so that's one thing that they're actually the parents are going to be working, but yeah. they're working for their kids. So I think that was an awesome thing. Uh, there's three nights of events; they're going to be there. They're all legally qualified to be bartenders they yeah. have all passed their course so that's amazing we've taken care of that to make sure that they have it um that's one then we have the food banks bathes volunteer um the volunteer uh, center, volunteer center yeah. and the could push in Peter rush okay so we're going to do something for them okay put both of them together so we're going to be selling 50 50 tickets at the concerts and of course somebody in the audience will win 50% and the other 50% will go to them. And uh, that's a, a big, another big event that we hope to raise money for the, they need, they need the money, we, yeah. you know, so we're thinking we're yeah. going to do that like that. Then we have, um, um, you the, had your book with you, you went yeah. through the way. <laughs> the Wish Foundation. Uh, we've got two events helping them. We have a pub crawl 
And that pub crawl will have games during the, the five locations that they stop off. And when they play those games, there are going to be donations done for the, for the people. And all that money will be people, again, volunteers from the Wish Foundation that are going to be running the, or running the pub crawl. But all the money that they, we raise through that will go to Wish Foundation. And then we have the car show. There's a barbecue car show uh, at the car show, I should say. And that also will be all for the Wish Foundation. So oh, this is impressive. Another. And then we have the horse pull. There's going to be a barbecue there. And that's all going to be going to the 4-H club. So all the proceeds going to them. And then we'll be donating, you know, the money, all the registrations, funnies is going to be going to the 4-H club. So we have those. I have one more. Um, SPCA. We're having a dog show. All the proceeds that are going to go there, they're going to have barbecues also there. And that's going to go to the SPCA. So this is impressive in a way because it's bringing in, making partnerships, bringing people in that have some skin in the game yep. because they're doing it for their organizations, but at the same time promoting you and developing these partnerships and creating a, a, a different way of creating a volunteer base too, because they're volunteering for their own organizations. They're not stepping out of there and volunteering for somebody else. So it, it uh, that helps everything yep. in the long run. Yep. It's a, uh, it's a, uh... It's a whole community event, and it's for the Shalor region. So it's like everybody, you know, the, we want the food banks to profit, to, to gain, gain from this. And uh, we're just hoping that we get the, a lot of people that participate in all the activities. Like this year, guitar is just it's amazing. Miltip Schwa was the one that donated. Uh, uh, well, really thank him a million times for doing it. When he gave it to me and we said okay we're going to figure something to do and then i just happened to see your sign and i said that's where it's going so yeah. and and our goal with sistema is to raise sixty five thousand dollars we're already at a forty five thousand dollar mark and uh so you know if we're able to sell all these tickets you know that'll get us up even closer to the to the full goal so and uh, again, that's going to be helping out kids in our region, and and yeah. it's just it's just amazing. Like it, it's uh, it's pretty impressive with what you're doing with your whole committee, everything together, the whole organization, how it's being done. Uh, my hats off to everybody, you, and uh, to the committee, to the group, because uh, the work that you're doing is impressive. Awesome, thank you. Um, you know, it's for sure that we wouldn't be able to do this without our sponsors. We've got a lot of sponsors that were involved this year and came big and uh, without them this would not be able to be done you know uh, we want this there's so many activities going on from sporting um, people have to con contact to go on the website because there's all different sports there and when you look at it there's five different sports activities but there's activities for the kids there's family swim there's a, a fam a seniors event which is on a tuesday at the bathurst garden club and it's an amazing day uh, Everybody knows uh, Gary and Bernice Windsor. They'll be playing the music there that night. If they want to attend, they got to, and they want to eat the lobster roll that's going to be there that day, they have to go and buy the tickets at this location right here. And, or they can get them at the mall as long as the Chase Ace is still on on Wednesday nights. <laughs> because the mall closes at six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. The mall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, there's so many other activities. The pub crawl is going to be an amazing event. Uh, we're going to be, people are going to be bussed from one place to the other. And that's, they're going to be playing those games for the Wish Foundation. But then after that, they all go to the after party, which is going to be at the, the Vickers Field. And uh, they finish their party there. You have to sign up at the mall, get your teams together, sign up at the mall. Uh, it's only $50, but it's a beautiful night. You have the concert that finished at the concert. You have the bus ride. You have your uh, beverage that's going to be given to you, plus your T-shirts that uh, are, are on display here. Um, but, but that's going to be an amazing thing. I have to top it off with the amazing race. Well, I was going to ask because you said amazing about four times and that, that was triggered my next question about <laughs> let's talk about the amazing race because that's also something that's pretty impressive. Yeah, the amazing race is going to be a seven-day event. First day is we have a maximum of 30 teams. Right now I have 10. So 
I needed 10 to play, make it happen. I have 10 teams. I have still room for 20, but it's first come first serve because after 30, it stops. Then we start our, our first day and then the, the next day it goes down to nine. So the first nine that finish it goes to nine and then it goes nine, eight, seven, six, five, and then the final four. It's really going to be really exploring Bathurst, the Shalor area, and knowing what's around here, but it's it's an amazing race for the Bathurst Shalor area. <laughs> it's gonna be I can't tell you more than that. Just if you think you know the area, if you think you're smart enough and you know, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of running and uh getting into different activities, uh, it's gonna be amazing. It's sponsored by San Isidore Asphalt and They've been amazing with us. Uh, again, amazing. It keeps coming back. Yeah. But I'm really excited about this. And uh, we still have room for people to get in. Don't wait because yeah. time is coming short. Yeah. And we do have a culture of waiting until the last oh, second to yeah. do it. Yeah. But and and that becomes a bit frustrating for you guys because you're sitting there and and uh, and saying, well, are they going to come or not going to come? But the good thing is, is that you do have the minimum amount that you wanted, good, yeah. so it's a go to uh, oh, yeah, no yeah. matter what. And if it wasn't, if you didn't have enough people, you would have found some people who forced them into it. I, I would know. Have them into yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have ten teams right now, which is great. But I would love to see thirty or even twenty teams. But thirty teams would make it so exciting that first day. Uh, and people will be excited once they see what they got to do. And then, wow. Well, I'm, I'm interested to, to see how all of this is going to come together because, you know, like we talked about before in our first interview, it's, it's really revamping and getting the given the hospitality days of facelift and, and just by looking at the store here, you've already done it. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you. This is uh this is pretty impressive with everything that you have in here and being at the mall and everything and you know the uh, the sign at the door with all the activities that you have going on and everything. People are stopping when we were walking here. People were stopping by and just looking to see what it was there. So it's getting the awareness out there and, and stuff. And hopefully by uh, uh, doing this interview, more awareness to get out there. And uh, again, I can only thank you for. Uh, doing this for the community and for all the stuff and for what you're doing for Systema at the same time, Mike. Awesome. Thank you very much. I do have one thing that I forgot the last time to say. You did? And <laughs> the fireworks. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's talk about the fireworks because this is different. This We've is different. always had fireworks, but this yeah. you've taken it to a completely different level. Yeah. We have fireworks. We have two companies that are going to be playing, doing their fireworks show. One's going to go number one. The one's going to number two. They don't know who's one or two yet. When they go get there that day, they will know, but they're going to flip and one, two, they're going to put on a show and the public is going to vote. Oh, this is a competition. It's a competition. Ah, Public's going to vote for the best one. They're going to get a prize. But what's nice about it is that we're going to be also making a kind of a vote, whoever wins. And then there's going to be donations uh, requested. It could be tents and stuff set up in the area we're not 100 percent sure of how we're going to do it but again the money that we collect for the fireworks competition will all go to Baptist volunteer center and the could uh food bank in pitter rush another good reason to participate and be in there because yeah. it through all this week of of activities yeah. that you have there's more than one opportunity okay. to donate to different groups that are in need and that need the help and need the financial support and on top of that, it brings in all these people to to help out. But a fireworks competition, oh, that's, that's really good. That's pretty awesome to finish it off. And there's some excited. So if there's some excited, that means it's going to be an amazing show. Again, amazing. <laughs> yeah, again, amazing. So, Mike, I'm going to ask you the last question. Okay. Did you forget anything? No, but I <laughs> want to thank all the volunteers that are going to come out and help us out that have been helping us out and the amazing committee that we have it's been an awesome privilege to work with everybody it's uh it's above and beyond what uh, i expected at the beginning but it's like wow we're we're there it's that close away and we're there not much more you can say after a statement like that. So there we are. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week. The place you come to to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.